Well, it's about that time to punch a big ass hole in the ass to Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes, 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 I've watched this movie. I gave it a chance. I, I, I really did. All the negative reviews, I gave this movie a chance, okay? I even watched Tom Childbash's review. Great re movie reviewer. Check him out. He gave this movie, I think, a B or B minus. Tom, I respect you as a movie reviewer and all that stuff, but I think you were a little too nice on this movie, okay? This is not a B movie, okay? This is just bullshit. 100% grade A shit. Okay? A few highlights of this movie is Dakota Johnston, Johnson. Now, if you know her resume, Dakota, Dakota Johnson is a good actor, actress. She was good in 21 Jump Street. She was good in Need for Speed. She was good in that other movie I, I have, too, but I forgot the name of it. Let me look that up real quick. Because this is a rant, after all. This is unscripted. Why the fuck not, right? Uh, Dakota Johnson. She was also in... Uh, God, what was, what was the name of that movie? The Social Network. And Beastly. Oh, what are you doing in this movie, girl? What are you doing in this movie? The guy who plays Christian Grey... He could be better, but he's not the greatest. I can see why Charlie Hunnam turned this movie down. Maybe not for the sex scenes, but probably for the way this movie was written, the story itself, and him looking like a complete dumbass. Everybody looks like a complete dumbass in this movie. So the plot is we meet Anastasia Steele. She's there taking the place of a friend, and she's going to interview Christian Grey. Of course, when she meets this dickhead, she falls in love with him. How do you fall in love with Christian Grey, okay? When you literally have a best friend who has the hots for you, and you, you, you know this. You know this. Okay? It's like Chris Tucker and Friday. And you know this, man. And you fall for Christian Grey, the man who doesn't love you, okay? Who constantly keeps saying, I'm not the right, I'm not the right person for you. But you fall in love with him anyway, because just like Frozen, just like any other stupid movie with a weak ass female character like you, you keep coming back for more. You don't enjoy anything he's doing to you, but you keep coming back for more because you're weak. You're weak. Why couldn't you make a fucking book? about a female character that was strong, that had sense, that had a sense of responsibility, that knew common sense. This bitch don't know shit. Seriously, she doesn't know jack shit from her asshole. Which got fucked too. <laughs> the sex scenes in this movie is normal. Okay? It's it's normal. It's like softcore porn, man, okay? Okay, had to answer the door. Sorry about that. But where was I? Oh yes. A weak ass bitch. I'm talking fucking weak ass shit characters, okay? Two hours and eight minutes of nothing. The people from the softcore porn people from Married People. Yeah, you know that, that softcore porn named Married People? Single sex, urban adultery. They were better actors in that situation. Okay? You look good naked, girl. I'll give you that. You look damn good naked. You barely got any titties, but you look good naked. I'll give you that. So, props to you for doing that because that was hot. I kind of got a hard on watching you naked. So... Yeah, just give me more to Nick the Dakota Johnson. I ain't gonna complain, but <laughs> but yeah, stay away from Fifty Shades of Grey, people. I I'm not playing. This movie sucks. Okay, the movie made five hundred and sixty-six million dollars. I am still trying to wrap my head around that shit. How the fuck did this movie make five hundred and sixty-six million dollars? 
I can get laid 566 million times with that amount of money. Shit. Have a line built around the corner? I don't give a fuck. <sighs> Just another cash. Sex in the city had better characters, better actresses, and everything in it. Okay, it had a story I gave a shit about. And that's a chick flick movie, and I like Sex in the City. I like the TV show Sex in the City. It worked. This movie does not. It fucking does not. Half the shit works in the longest ride. I'll get to that one later. I'm giving this movie a fuck you out of five. Fuck Fifty Shades of Grey. F plus suck my dick. Well, you probably might get off on that. So you know what? You're not going to suck my dick because you ain't worthy of sucking this dick. Okay? You can go and suck Twilight. You know what? Twilight ain't even worth sucking your dick over. Twilight's a much better movie than you. And it's not by much. And that says a whole hell of a lot right there. Holy shit. Oh my god, I had to say it. I just fucking said it. I can't believe I fucking said it. But I fucking said Twilight is better than Fifty Shades of fucking Grey. What does that fucking say? <laughs> oh my lord, have mercy. Two hours of wasting my time. Lord. Let me know what you guys think about this movie down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? If you somehow like this movie, let me know why. Please, I would love to see a paragraph discussion on why you like this movie. Because other than that, this movie fucking blew. It blew more than my snot out of my nose, man. Okay? <laughs> it blew more ass than the shit I took last week. Okay? So yeah, fuck this movie. I am out. I have to watch the other two now, don't I? And I bet you by the time we get to the third one, they're going to split that bitch in two movies. So we're going to be looking at three more sequels, huh? I bet you that's where you're going to go. Watch, as soon as the second one comes out, third half, split into two movies. I'm like, bitch. Ugh. Fuck you.